Welcome back again to our video series on mentoring and discipleship. Uh, this one's entitled, it, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I thought this thing was going to be glorious and Perfect. it went, <laughs> right? So it didn't work. Uh, you know, have you, ever been a, have you ever been a part of a relationship in mentoring where it didn't work? A very, very. Me many. too. Yeah. I've had them where I started off and I thought this is going to be, you know, the next Billy Graham Amen. and it turned out to be the next flop. You know what I'm saying? And that's not, <laughs> may not have been their fault, might have been mine. Exactly. And, uh, and so look, we're just going to talk about some reasons maybe why it didn't work and how to move on from that scenario. Okay. So what are some reasons why it, did, it didn't work? The first one, different personalities. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes they just don't mesh. Yeah. Diff different people mesh with, with other people. And a lot of times in the initial meeting, uh, we tend to put on airs. We tend yeah. to put on our best face, like when you were dating your wife. I'm uh, sure, when you, that's you, right. you brush my teeth and everything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, combed your hair and everything <laughs> the first time. Yeah. But after that, you know, it's it's like the old married couple. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, the and wife. it's not necessarily, I don't think it's a, a motive, like a, a, a no. false motive. I think it's just like the excitement of it's it all. It's the excitement, and, yeah. You know, and just the zeal of it right. all. Right, you want to put your best foot yeah. forward. You want to be the best you can. And uh, a lot of times people get false ideas about each other or, or just, it just happens that personalities don't mesh. Yeah. You know, some people just don't mesh as well with other people. Yeah. And then honestly, I mean, you might have started mentoring someone or you might have started being mentored by someone. And they just really didn't fully anticipate the uh, the time that. and the resources, yes. and they just kind of just start backing off and backing off and backing off, and that's not your fault. And uh, and uh, some it, people just just lose heart. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, it does take commitment, like we talked about before. The the FAT, the faith, faithfulness, uh, and availability, and teachability, yeah. but. A lot of people don't realize when they go into it, even what an hour and a week is an hour a week is going to do. Yeah. Plus, uh, we live at the speed of sound, yeah. right? and, and things change so quickly. Yeah, situations change, and, and people have to adjust. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's lots of reasons. Um, sometimes you start mentoring someone, and uh, they're just not sure. I'm not sure if the word ready, because I think everybody's ready to be mentored, but they're just not humble enough at that moment to be taught and right. God, that's God's responsibility more than ours. Yes. And uh, uh, we go through different seasons. And, um, and some, sometimes it takes a little more time for, for some of those things to get broken off or sure. burned off of us. I know there were times that I went into relationships that I just wasn't ready for that relationship yet because I wasn't mature enough. You can, you can, you can make an analogy if, for spiritual things, just yeah. like that, you you're not to the point where you're ready for that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I've known from personal experience that it didn't. There's times when it didn't work where um, I was mentoring someone, and we came to a decision that um, they were not willing to make, and I was not willing to fudge right. on. Right. Right. And uh, we were at an impasse. Right. You know, we were at a stalemate, and you know, and that just. Sometimes you just, you hit a wall and, um, and, and that's just and part of the no, nature of relationship. Yeah, there's no shame in it. Yeah. Uh, it, it happens. Uh, and that's the thing about it. We can't go into it afraid that it's not going to work. Right. You have to go into it open and, and not, not be afraid or not call it a failure. Yeah. Because it's not a failure. Yeah. It can be. You learn something from it. Yeah, yeah. You learn something, and it can be the mentor as well as the person Absolutely. being men mentor. Absolutely. Every time it could be. You and know. so, um, the really the uh, the uh, the uh, assigning of blame or the figuring out why is really not that big a deal, other than from learning for the next experience. Exactly. But um, but really, that's the whole point. Is just because it may not all work with this person doesn't mean that the uh, structure of the mentoring relationship is not something you need to be a part of. Exactly. Okay? You fall off a horse or when you was growing up and you uh, started to learn how to walk, you fell down, but you get back up. And if you're as a mentor, you say, well, you know, people just don't want to learn. People, you just don't make generalizations. No. And you as a mentoree, 
well, you know, is this this is what it's going to be? I don't want to be a part of that. You know, you, there's somebody out there that God has for you that, that can pour into your life. There's somebody out there that God has for you that is waiting for you to speak into their life. Okay. Yes. yes. So don't want to become a bigger deal than it than it is. Right. And and as we said in the previous video, that's one of the things that you really need to realize. There's always someone. If you're at any spiritual level, there's always someone that you can pour into. That's right. Always. If you've only been uh, living for the Lord for, for six months, there's someone out there that's Absolutely. just starting that, that, that you can really yeah. pour into their life because they need someone at that level yeah. that, that can really, uh, you know, empathize with what they're Absolutely. going through. And so just because it didn't work doesn't mean that mentoring and discipleship doesn't work, because it does, it and that's does a biblical work. principle. Amen. So stay committed to the process of discipleship overall, and God will work out all the details. Amen. All right? So don't lose heart. Don't lose faith. All right, that's all for today, and we will uh, come back with some more exciting information about discipleship and mentoring next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.